Hello, hello. Good morning. A Friday, May 17th. I am here to say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yesterday I did not get on camera because I woke up with the worst headache. I started a new diet to try and lose 20 pounds and it's a program that I guess has a lot less salt than I'm used to because I know from studying that I know a bit about nutrition. I know quite a bit about nutrition actually. I just haven't really stuck to it much lately. But when you're when you have headaches, it means that there's a salt water imbalance. So I'm guessing that the amount of salt that I've been eating has been a lot less, which is okay. I need to probably cut back on my salt, but I had to do a little bit more gradually because I can't deal with that headache. My coach, I do have a coach for this weight loss and she suggested I get the Gatorade Zero and I thought about it, but electrolytes, I get all that already in everything that I've been taking and that I won't stop taking. Those are my, what did I call them? My, anyway, I won't stop taking them. And I get all that, all those electrolytes already in that. So I knew I was just low on salt. So I, I got a couple little things of salt. I got my Celtic salt coming here soon. And then I won't have an issue at all anymore. And it is good that I'm cutting down on salt. Anyway, so today is Faithful Friday. I was just thinking about God, Jesus' faithfulness to us. One of my lady friends that she's in my Sunday Bible school class. She's amazing. She and her husband actually lead the class. Her husband, I guess they both do it together. He's usually the one talking, Chad. But at Sharon Freitag, she does a little post on her Facebook about giving a word, a single word. She's going through the alphabet to celebrate Jesus. And my first thought at today's T, my first thought was T, tenacious. But I was also going to be talking about how Jesus is faithful to us. So those actually, those two things just really tied together today and isn't quite good when he does that all the time. He does it all the time because he's everywhere. Out of time, in time, it's amazing. Jesus is so faithful. And the wonderful thing about that is that that brings us comfort and joy because we're not necessarily always that faithful. I've been reading in Second Kings and oh my goodness, they did good in his eyes and then they did evil in his eyes. It's like, come on guys, let's, let's just stay on track. But it, it brings us hope and security because we know that he's faithful to us and that we should stay focused on him. And no matter what we're going through in life, he's going to be there for us. So I pulled up one scripture, which is Second Thessalonians 3.3. 3. But the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. That alone brings me great comfort because there's so much evil out in the world. And there's so many things going on that you can see so much sadness and unkindness and just insanity is the only thing I could call it. It brings me great comfort to know that he is faithful. He is always faithful and I need to stay focused on him and to know that he's going to get me through no matter what. I'm going to be in alignment with his plan no matter what that is and that he's going to bring that to me because I think. I was listening to somebody the other day and he said, if it's not there, he can create it. He is the creator of all things. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. I'm getting more into my Bible and just really that peace that you get with that is so amazing. So anyway, tenacious, I was going to define that. It says tenacious means holding fast or being persistent in maintaining, adhering to, or seeking something valued or desired. It describes someone who is determined and doesn't easily give up, showing strong resolve and perseverance in the face of challenges. Well, that's Jesus. He's tenacious for us. He chases us. He is the good shepherd. That one that's lost, he's going to come find them. And I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful that I have him in my life. I pray that you have him in your life. If you're struggling, dig into the word. Really dig into it. Eat it, as Christy McClellan says. Feast on that food because he will feed you. He will sustain you. So I'm going to head out. My husband's home and I'd like to go see him because he's worked all night and I didn't even get to see him hardly yesterday except for maybe 10 minutes. But I love you. God loves you. And I will see you tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow's Saturday, so I may not do a live. I may do one. Who knows? We shall see. Maybe I'll, I'll do one. But I do have to go into the salon quite early. But I hope you have a great day. Again, I love you. God loves you. Talk to you later.